Storing all the documents, photos, videos on your phone will eat up a hell amount of space and will make it sluggish and frustrating. And that's when the cloud storage comes into the play. It lets you store all your files in the cloud, freeing up your precious storage on your iPhone. And not only that, you can access all those uploaded files from anywhere. But there are so many options out there and it is very difficult to choose from. And that is the reason I am here with the five options. You can choose whichever you want according to your taste. Now let's start with my personal favorite app which I use personally and that is of course Mega Cloud Storage. Mega takes the crown for the free storage with a whopping, let me just show you, 25 GB. Yes, that's a lot of space to store your stuff. You can store your photos, you can store your music, you can store your documents and that too with end-to-end -end encryption, which means all your files which are getting uploaded to the cloud are getting scrambled. Hence, it adds a layer of security, which means one of the most secure and privacy-centric cloud storage app. You can also set up auto backup with your account. There are multiple options available. For example, let's go into device center and over here, you can enable the camera uploads like this, but I don't want to do that right now. And uh, not only that, you can extend the 25 GB by doing such achievements or uh, referring to your friends. This app will give you approximately 30 GB if you do all these things, making it one of the best cloud storage service available right now. Talking about the free space, as you can see over here, this is my mega account. And as you can see, I have got 50 GB of online storage, cloud storage on my free mega account. And you can also get this by doing all the achievements and referral offers, which I have just showcased. But there is one thing which you need to keep in mind before you upload all your photos and videos to the mega cloud storage. And that is the free Tier only supports a single file size up to 15 GB. What that means, you can only upload a file which is not more than 15 GB in size. For example, if you are going to upload a file which is 16 GB, Mega won't allow it. So number two, we have pCloud, the all-rounder cloud storage app. pCloud offers a solid 10 GB of free storage as well as minimal, unique, simple UI as well as you also get some amazing security features which are coupled with zero knowledge encryption. That means your data is safe on pCloud regardless you are using free tier or paid one. Not only that, pCloud also offers you lifetime plan. That means you have to pay only once and you will get the storage for the lifetime. And trust me, I don't know any other cloud storage company which does that. And if you do, do let me know in the comment section which is that particular company which sells you storage for the lifetime. But the only caveat is that the pCloud doesn't give you the 10 GB of promised storage instantly. You get the 3 GB out of 10 GB, but you can unlock that 7 GB of storage by doing some things which pCloud wants from you, which can be verifying your email ID, sharing the app and etc etc. Moving forward, my next suggestion for you guys would be Sync and you can also access the site by going on to sync.com. If security is your utmost priority, then my friends, you need to go with sync.com as it has zero knowledge encryption, which will protect all your data from the praying eyes of the hackers and spammers. But the only thing is the only caveat over here is which I don't like personally, that you only get 5 GB of free storage, which I think in today's day and age is quite less. What do you think? Do let me know in the comment section. Would you wanna sacrifice on storage space or privacy features? Which team are you on? And one more fun thing that sync.com is based in Canada, which has more strict rules compared to US when it comes to privacy and security. So all in all, it is a very safe bet if you want to upload your precious data online. And not only that, you can also make Word file, Excel sheets, text files using this particular app. And that is one fantastic thing for all the people who are into businesses. Now it's the time for one of the most used and one of the most oldest app out there. And that is of course, 
Dropbox. I wouldn't be wrong to say that Dropbox single-handedly started this cloud storage phenomena in back in those days and now it is still quite famous. Dropbox is a well-known option in the cloud storage industry and it is quite simple to use as well. Sharing and syncing files on Dropbox is almost like a cake walk but 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 the only thing which you need to keep in mind and that is the free tier on Dropbox only offers you 2 GB of online storage space which is quite well not quite very less when you compare it with its competitor whose minimum free tier online cloud storage space is 5 GB. So if you still think Dropbox is relevant in today's day and age, you might go and just download it and use it. But I think the overall UI is quite good. The uploading and downloading speeds are nice, but only caveat is the storage space you get in the free tier, which is only 2 GB. And lastly, we have my first exposure to the online cloud storage era and that is of course Mediafire and all those people who are into software downloading stuff and uh, just doing random things on internet, I think you might have heard of Mediafire. If you did, do let me know in the comment section. Mediafire offers you generous 10 GB of online storage which makes sharing files and uploading them quite a breeze. This might come in handy if you want to collaborate on a specific project and want to share its data online, then my friends, Mediafire is way to go. But, 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 there is one caveat which you need to listen and that is Mediafire limits transfer speeds of the files making it a bit slower compared to its competitors. All in all, you get a good amount of online storage, which is 10 GB. So if you want to share and collaborate on a project, then my friends, you need to try out Mediafire. So there you have it, guys. Top five suggestions of online cloud storage for your iPhone so that your iPhone storage doesn't get filled up and you don't have to face that annoying system storage full prompt again and again on your iPhone. I know I have helped you. So make sure you like this video. Do let me know in the comment section, which is that particular app you like the most and of course subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any amazing listicles like this also go to app store download igb app and enjoy everything apple content and amazing wallpapers i tell you and on this note this is me samir signing off and i will see you in the next one till then tada see ya